This is Copenhagen. And this is Copenhagen. Underground, kilometers of pipes form the city's district heating network, bringing heat into the living rooms of over half a million people. Before we had district heating, the air in Copenhagen was thick with black smoke from coal, coke, and petroleum from thousands of private stoves. In 1925, we decided to make use of the surplus heat from the city's burgeoning electricity production. From a central power station, we began piping out steam to keep the neighboring buildings warm. This was the beginning of district heating in Copenhagen. People quickly grew fond of this safe, stable heating, and the network grew. New power stations were built, then the energy crisis of the early 70s led to greater environmental awareness. By centralizing heat production, we managed to create an efficient, flexible, and environmentally friendly energy system. Today, 99% of Copenhagen's heat consumption is covered by district heating. The black smoke over the city is gone. But the story doesn't end here. At Ho4, we work tirelessly to make heating greener and more efficient. Old pipes are replaced by better ones. Heat production at the power stations is converted to climate-friendly biomass. And together with the people of Copenhagen, we continue to work on bringing energy consumption down. In the future, when we also make use of geothermal, solar and wind energy, our district heating system will once again show its flexibility and play a crucial role in the overall energy system. Every day, we are working to make Copenhagen the world's first CO2 neutral capital by 2025, the centenary of the city's district heating. So, because this is Copenhagen, this is Copenhagen. <laughs>